Well, I've done a silica acid treatment twice in a seven day period on all my colonies, all 64 of them. So I hope I've stopped the loss of the strength of the colonies. I know there's a lot of bees on the concrete there, but um, even after I get the mites out, I'm sure there's still a lot of sick bees in there that continue to die for the next several weeks, probably. And I've gone through, I took the day off from my electrical contracting business and I went through these colonies here. I removed them, I set them on this table. I uh, take them off the bottom screen, get all the dead bees out, and then the bottom boards I vacuum, I vacuum all the crap. Every one of these colonies in here had var varroa mites on the bottom board that were dead because I used acetic acid twice in a week and it killed all of them, I hope. So, and then you may ask, well, maybe those mites were there when I, after I used the formic acid. No, I, I cleaned these in October and I did this exactly the same thing a couple weeks after the formic acid was done. So I know what I cleaned out today is after the acidic acid treatment. And I did these colonies a few days ago. So there's a total of 36 colonies that I've cleaned completely and I found varroa mites in every single colony on the bottom board. Last September when I used that Formic Pro, this is my second year to use it. And when I first put it in the colonies, that night I had a lot of dead bees. And that was the way it was the first time I used the Formic Pro Formic Acid. You have a lot of dead bees, especially in the large colonies, because they can't get away from the formic acid. So I was expecting that, but I wasn't expecting the fact that it didn't kill the varroa mites. So I killed 10% of my colony strength and 10% of my queens. And what did I get in return? Absolutely nothing. I wasted my money buying that formic pro formic acid. I lost 10% of my queens, 10% of my colony strength. And I still had varroa mites. But the acetic acid seems to kill all of the varroa mites. And I'm going to have to use that from now on for the rest of my life. It takes a lot of time. When I was doing these outside, it was a little colder than what, what's recommended. It was in the 30s. But what I did was I added time to the on time and time to the time before I pulled out the vaporization tool. And... When you pull that tool out, you don't want to have any acetic acid in the pan. If you have acetic acid in the pan, that means you didn't vaporize all of it, and it won't be as effective. So I guess time will tell if I've saved my colonies. And so I'm, you know, when people mess with me financially, that gives me the right to mess with them. So I have every right to tell people that the Formic Pro Formic Acid does not kill varroa mites. It's just a big ripoff. Why it worked for one year and didn't work the next, I do not know. But anyway, sorry for the long, boring video. Thank you.